right, what is up YouTube? So today I'm gonna be uh, removing and installing a new fairing for my uh, Sportster Iron 1200. Um, long story short, as you guys might be able to see, there's a scratch right there um, that's too deep to come out. Uh, so I went to Amazon, I looked through Harley dealerships or Harley directly, um, and that part costs maybe about I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. They had a used one at eBay, um, but I searched Amazon pretty pretty frequently and finally they posted up a replacement fairing or cow that looks identical to this one. I've opened it up. I haven't really messed with it too much, but this is it out of the packaging. So you guys can see, pretty identical to the stock one. Um, looks a little bit different outside of the bike itself but once i install it i'll have to show the similarity to it um, and of course give my thoughts feedback reviews impressions the whole spiel um, on how that came out so um, it should be a pretty simple thing i've swapped out the fairing before when i took it out to try to get it repaired initially and then of course um, when i swapped out the headlights and switched out the the lights uh, but it should be just these three little screws uh, i've got the the bit here so this should be the one to work out for me um, should be, if it's just that, it should be less than five. Uh, in the box itself, it did give me some screws and a bracket, but I don't think I'll need it. So we'll take a look. All right, so really quick, I was able to take out the one on the right, the one on the left. I left the one with the uh, clutch cable in just because I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, but then I remembered the pain in the ass that this one is. So, um, to do that, you do have to remove the ones from the bracket or at least loosen them up enough to where this won't sit so uptight, it'll kind of fall, fall down and give you a better angle to get to it. Because uh, even with an extended bit, um, it's kind of a bitch to, to unscrew and all you're going to do is, uh, well, you're going to just kind of lose and fucking tighten that shit out or make that shit loose. So, yeah, I'm going to loosen these up first. And then we'll see if it makes it a little easier. Right, so as you guys can see, after removing these, they're loose. I've kind of taken them off already. Um, they're off the, the actual bike now. So the fairing and the headlamp are loose. I'm not gonna take it all the way. I'm just gonna kind of leave it there just so I can get an angle to get to that. Once I get to that, take it off. It'll just be the fairing I'll leave. Again, I'm gonna hope that the original bracket fits with the new fairing. If not, I have to replace the bracket as well. All right, so these are the fairings side by side. So this is the new one, this is the old one. Again, there's that uh, irritating scratch that I got. So size-wise, so you guys can see they look pretty similar. I think the original looks a little wider. Um, the original has a little seal ring here that I'm gonna take off, which is to help reduce some of the wind that goes through by the, the hole where the headlight's gonna go in through. So I'll swap that out, test them out. Again, hoping, hoping that they still fit within the same original bracket. If not, I'll swap out the bracket as well. Um, I didn't think of this, but it kind of makes sense. So leaving that clutch cable, because again, this whole bracket's loose, the light, the headlight's loose, everything's loose. Leaving this bracket is pretty much only thing holding your, uh, supporting the bracket and the headlight from just falling and hitting the ground. So definitely recommend leaving that on, not touching that. Um, but yeah, so we'll see if it fits. If not, I'm swapping out the bracket as well. So here's the end results. Took maybe 20 minutes. I did have to have some help uh, from someone pushing inwards because these were not fully aligned, so I had to kind of time up the pressure. Um, I haven't done a ride review on it, but so far the only negative is, so on this bracket, there is no hole here for this little clip for the clutch cable. So I'm gonna have to take that off and probably just hide the clutch cable inside the fairing. Uh, vice versa on the old one. There you go, right? That's the hole right there on the old one. Uh, so. I might drill a hole, do it, or just leave the clutch cable inside, like I said, call it a day. But this is the end result, right? Now let me know if you could tell that it's aftermarket. Uh, again, compared to the original, if I'm angling them at the same position, right? pretty similar um so yeah so that's how it looks like i said 
The other thing that I didn't like that I had to do was, so the original screws did not fit. I did have to swap out those screws. Um, the original ones are black and these are just regular chrome silver tip screws. Um, aside from that, I did change out the bracket because this fairing was maybe like half an inch smaller, narrower, um, and the original did not fit on it. But other than that, I mean, 30 bucks, can't really complain. Satisfied with the way it came out. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'll give a pretty quick review. Hopefully I get able, I'm able to write it fairly soon here and I'll give you guys a review on what I think on that as well. But other than that, 30 bucks, do it yourself. Can't beat that. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Um, feedback, right? Let me know if you can tell the difference or if it looks the same. Uh, but for now, that should be it. So appreciate it. Peace out.